Hello and happy new year. Welcome to the first episode of 2024 and we are so happy to have you watching. Today we are in Rolesho having a look at this 165 million Kenya shilling house. It's a five bedroom with a swimming pool, an office, a sauna and even a theater room. This is probably one of the most requested tour and we are finally happy to have it on the show. Karibuni sana and let's have a look. From the driveway, you walk into your parking area where you can fit about six cars. And on this side is where you have the front of the house. The house starts on about a half acre lot and we are going to see how it extends to the backyard. On this side, we have a water feature, which is a lovely thing to see. And you have chain links connected to your gutter to help alienate water splashing when it's raining. And here is your front door. And let's go inside so that we can see what the house has to offer. Before you go inside, notice that these steps is all granite. That is the steps to your house. And uh, that's a very unique feature. So walk with me inside. Uh, as you walk inside, you notice your double doors, mahogany, which definitely are very important when you're moving things. And they welcome you to your foyer which is a very big space and almost like a double height ceiling we don't get to see such big foyers really yeah okay. yeah not, not quite a lot and especially this, of all this space that is available here yeah, yeah. it's insane to assume like yeah, you get yeah. something like this in this part of Nairobi you exactly know? yeah and one thing you notice for all this space that is your foyer it can make a very good uh, display area for your art collections. And then you have all these windows to ensure that even this space gets a lot of natural light. Then you have down lighters, you have warm lighting, cove lighting, you have these uh, chandeliers, and you also have cutting rails, which are all automatic in case you don't want all this natural light. But why wouldn't you want natural light? <laughs> and uh, looking on the floor, we have a very nice tiled floor. Looks like a marble. I almost thought it is the kind of marble we saw in Zanzibar. Until oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, it looks like marble. <laughs> but it's very well fixed. Yeah. And uh, this stair takes you to the bedrooms that uh, we are going to see later on. But first, follow me this side so that we have a look. And uh, the staircase, as you can see, it's all wooden lovely on this side we have the office space so let's check it out quickly and uh, so welcome to the office space one thing you notice with the office with this house is that all the lights are controlled by these smart sockets so that's a good thing to feature it's yeah. also connected to your phone so you can just put the lights on with your phone when you're in the house or when you're not even in the house yeah yeah it's all wi-fi connected yeah even the speakers yeah. You Even know, everything can be controlled from your phone. That is exactly what they mean by saying a smart a house. Smart house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is a very good space for the office. And I like how it is directly in front of your entrance or your foyer. Yes. So that means when guests are coming to, to your office, they don't have to go to the rest of your house. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So they just walk in, you do your business and they go. You can also use it as a playroom for kids. Mm -hmm. You can also use it as a, what else can you use it? Uh, I think if you're one of those guys who must talk with a bodyguard, oh. you can have them they get can this use room that as room, their yeah? bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so and that they are near the entrance. On this side, we have a powder room. Yeah. But I've been told that they can't see the key. They lost it. the key. <laughs> they lost the key, and I almost <laughs> forgot that. Again, windows. We've been talking about these windows a lot mm -hmm. because you have so many big windows in this house. Yes. And the cutting rails, I like how they're all neatly done. And like I said, it's all motorized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're never moving them with your hands yeah? 
and here is your camera system so you can see what is going on in your house your frontal this is the parking area this is the swimming area and i think there's even one show in the backyard yeah yeah there you have it so coming to this side you have this staircase taking you to the basement level where we have the swimming pool we have the gym the two guest bedroom and welcome to your massive living space i believe this is the living space that has made this house to be requested by so many people to be brought to the show yes of course i mean the double volume the huge windows the corner window like this is amazing this is even more than a double volume height yo oh yes yeah, so, so it's double and a few more and if you look, notice the ceiling slants towards this side. Yes. So on this side, it is a double volume height. Mm -hmm. But on this side, it's a few meters extra. Exactly. <laughs> By far, one of the high... Do you think this is a... Uh, do you think this is bigger than uh, the one you saw in Zanzibar? Or uh, almost the same size? Yeah, I think this is somewhat bigger. Yeah. No, actually, no, because, because yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no, because the one in Zanzibar, yeah. the ceilings are quite high on the first floor. Yeah. So I think they are maybe the same on this other same edge. Same on the Zanzibar one is a slightly bigger. Yeah, so. but it's like that's big. a 1.8 billion house. Yeah, so course. you can understand that. Yeah? yeah. So for them to achieve this for 165 million Kenyan shilling, I think is an achievement. Huh? Yeah. And one of the things I didn't talk about is this pillar and I love when these pillars are within the house therefore they don't have uh they're able to eliminate pillars yeah all, around, around the them wall, yes. and therefore you can have this glass uh corner glass windows yeah someone mentioned in the in a comment that I they have noticed I like corners yeah of course yeah, we like these corner windows I they do. bring it I love it quite a unique feature of the house yeah and look at the view you know, it's hard to imagine that you are three minutes away from Westrads. Yeah. That the Red Hill Bypass is just here. Right, yeah. Right, right at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, but Yaki Way is just here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for those people who are wondering, this is a very good location. Some people always say I should mention about schools, but I mean, you are in the middle of everything. This is the heart of the town. So yeah. this is a perfect location. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the best places you can live. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's so quiet and therefore doesn't, it, it's impossible to imagine that you are at the heart of everything. Yeah. Yeah. And this side, you have uh, this lovely fireplace. Nairobi gets cold sometimes, it not does. always. Especially yeah. this side of Loresho. Yeah. Because there's a lot of trees. There's a lot of trees. Yes. This is, it's one of the things that we love about this area. Yeah. Spring Valley. Loresho. Loresho. Yeah. Oh man, those are places I want to live when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you have a nice fireplace here. And I can see there's a socket here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask why they have a socket there. But my imagination is they wanted to make maybe, maybe you can turn it into a vaporized uh, oh, or yes. electrical fireplace if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Also because like there's no where to store wood, so yeah, exactly. I don't think they practically meant for it to be to used wood. Yeah, yeah. Use and wood. then again, the floor is all wooden, and on this side, it a it's a second living space, by the way. Yeah. And on this side, you have uh, this tiled space, and you have this art piece that we love to see. Yeah. This this really spices up the walls and makes it very unique. You can't compare it to if it was just a bare wall. wall yeah. yeah, exactly. And we even have another one here. This is the third one, right? Yes. And, yeah. And uh, wow, how amazing it is to see. So coming to this other side, you have uh, this uh, very nice shelf-like space where you can display your books, your Grammy Awards. Yeah. I would imagine if you bought this house, <laughs> you'd do everything to win a Grammy Award. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely have my trophies there. Yeah, plus yeah. the president said the Grammys are coming to Kenya. I don't know where okay. So maybe I'm... <laughs> Maybe this is a <laughs> maybe this, this this will be a nice place to as Willis is saying you can portray your trophies here yeah or your kids trophies mm. uh, or, or even yeah. those one of a kind bottles that you see you know the I, big big ones I, I wanted to say that then I thought that's a Kenyaji thing to do <laughs> <laughs> but welcome to this other side where you have your dining space yeah. and uh, I'm king look at the volume of look at the size. It's very big, yeah? It is. It's massive. Is. You can fit a very big table here that can yeah. fit 10 people yeah. and you still have a lot of space to walk around. Even a 12 seater. Yeah. This can even fit yes, a 12 seater. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. And again, notice the windows. 
Mm-hmm. You know, even the sitting area, I didn't talk about the windows because I thought it is on your face, like, you don't have to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Again, notice the lighting fixtures. These are very beautiful. Uh, they have that, what really is called a steampunk. I think every time I see anything with this color, I yeah. call it steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> and you have this balcony on this side. Yeah. I want to open it. And as soon as you open that balcony, there's a fresh air and some breeze coming in and from here we can see the basement level where we have the swimming area and there's and we're going to see that later on the show and you also have your grounds there yeah from outside you can hear some noise from the nearby road but when you're inside you know Nothing. you don't hear anything yeah. i was told is because they have used sound proofing mm-hmm. on these aluminium windows yeah so this is not your ordinary uh, cool. aluminium windows that they use in the offices mm. yeah they have made it sure that uh, you get value for your 165 million Kenyan shilling mm. okay and uh, on this other side you have uh, your kitchen space and you have this area that's sort of uh, like a bridge yeah? yeah and on this bridge this is where you have the fridge uh, this is actually the freezer and this is the wine fridge yeah and uh, here is your fridge yeah? all comes Bosch actually installed in the house on the side you have this cabinetry that is lit with these LEDs and look at the hinges mm, very That's, nice yeah very nice huh? yeah good to see and on this side you have the kitchen you have your microwave you have your oven all fixed you have this uh, island where you can have uh, your breakfast here I believe you have nice lighting again gypsum ceiling and all this nice cabinetry and I want to see if these ones also come with the lighting. No, these ones don't come with the lighting, yeah? Mm-hmm. On this side, you have four burners, four gas burners, and uh, mm-hmm. you have this induction cooker. Yeah. Yeah. And continuing to this other side, I like what they did with this space with this. Yeah, so, I mean, this this lets out quite a huge amount of light exactly. inside the space. Yes. And also it makes the space feel warm because this is the lower level. It will definitely feel exactly. cold at all times. Yes, yes. Yeah, so this is a good way of heating up this space. This was a genius idea because if they did have this glass ceiling, as yeah. Willis is saying, then you would be getting all this natural light that is coming in and it would be actually be even colder. Yeah? yeah. But you have your double sink here, you have these windows opening to your parking area, and you have this door that you can use to access if you're coming maybe with staff to the kitchen, we have caterers, they can use this door and even your staff, yeah? yeah. And you're going to see that later on. And uh, on this side, you have your pantry space, very spacious by the way, and they have made shelves for you using actually uh, concrete Stone, yeah? and, and tiles. Yeah. 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 yeah, very nice. Huh? And I forgot to say, to mention the cooker on that side. There's something that is here, really, and we always like to see these things. Yeah, definitely. I thought you forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have reminded me. <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, with that, I believe we are done with this first floor. Let's the first floor that we have to add, but this is actually the ground floor. So now let's take the stairs and check the basement, right? Yes. So follow me, Willis. Willis, I was asking you what is your impression of this house? I think it's quite a unique house to find in this kind of area. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to see this, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm very impressed. Value for money? Value for money, of course. Comparing to what uh, other houses that you have to yeah, have, right? Yeah, around the same price? Yeah. Definitely. So this is your gym space. It's even padded for you. Did I use the right word? What do you call yeah, this? Yeah, it's yeah. padded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. in case you drop your weights, your floors are safe. It, your floors are safe, yeah? Yes. Then you have these linear windows around. Yeah. Remember, we're in the basement. And notice, so even if you're in the basement, these walls do not touch the ground. Yeah? Exactly. And therefore, it means your house uh, is kept, uh, the, at least you don't get a uh, molding on your walls. Yes. Or paint won't peel. Yeah. Off. And you also have those owning windows. So when you're working out exactly. in this gym, you get fresh yeah. air. Fresh air. You don't need uh, air con passing. Yeah. And on this side, you can have a TV there. Yeah. And uh, follow me. Quick reveal is telling me this is a big house, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so on this side, you have the theater room. Notice how the sound Chains. I'm yeah. sure maybe people can feel it. Yeah, very well soundproofed. Yeah, I mean this sounds nice. Yeah, if if we could be recording every day in a space like this, I would this definitely would be, amazing, be very yeah. happy. Yeah, I wish these were the houses we were touring all the time. Yeah. So developers, please in 2024, surprise us. Yeah. We want to see more gems like these ones. So on this side as well, you can have your screen, 
and uh, you can have your seats here. This is actually one of the, uh, the I believe this is the second serious theater room that you have seen in Kenya. Yes, definitely. The first one we saw was the house we saw in Modib, Modi near Modib, yes. Kiambu Road. Yes. Yeah. We haven't been quite seeing a lot of spaces that are dedicated to be a home theater. Exactly. Per se, but yeah. uh, this one is nice. This one is nice. Yeah. And it comes with a uh, air con, yeah? Yeah, of course. And uh, let's move on to this other side where we have two the two guest bedrooms let's start with this one and uh once you walk in this uh guest room you feel that you are you're not somewhere in Rysambo. You know, these houses <laughs> in high-end places that yeah. you use the same thing. The same thing, yeah. You know, right. like, really? They're using <laughs> the... I mean, mention, not mention the companies they buy from. <laughs> they might blackball us. So this is the uh, washroom for this guest bedroom. You see, despite being the basement, you still get natural light even within your bathroom, yeah? Of course. And you have your shower area here. There's a rain head, a hard held. I like the fixtures and even look at the vanity. This, this I like, the, you see that curve they have? The curve they have, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. You like curves? It's a, yeah, it's a, <laughs> of course. Of course I do like curves. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Have you not seen the people I've been with? Uh, oh, my goodness, <laughs> wow. I didn't think you'd take it that far. <laughs> Again, your water closet is floating. So cleaning <laughs> is nice. Yeah. And as you see, notice that in the bedrooms, they use uh, they use wooden floor, laminated floors. Yeah? Yes. And in the bathroom, tiles, of course. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Again, let's check this other bedroom quickly. Bedroom number two. And look how spacious it is. And even the wallpapers that they have used. This is very nice. And they have the, done the TV connection for you. Yes. Yeah. You want to put up a TV. Yeah. And this actually every has... every every room is plug and play for TV. You know exactly. they have DSTV. And there's Wi-Fi. There's every like everything is available for did, you. Did you mention about the speakers? Oh, the speakers are inbuilt. I mean that's that's a nice thing. That's yeah. a nice thing. <laughs> so welcome to this other bathroom. This one is bigger. It's really big. Mm. Your water closet. You have a whole wall dedicated to your water closet. Eh? And. Uh, Look at your vanity setup again. The curves that Will is saying is impressed with, and your shower area. This is actually this is a <laughs> this is a shower area in master bedrooms for in, most yeah, houses. Yeah. For most houses, yeah. and this is a guest bedroom. Yeah. So <laughs> wait, again, I like the handhelds and uh, the fixtures are look nicer. Yeah. Okay. Someone mentioned in the videos, I, I like to say, eh, and uh, that's because I'm floating sometimes. <laughs> but I've seen someone say, like, that is so Kenyan of you. Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. know it's a Kenyan thing. That, I thought yeah. it was just me <laughs> messing around. It's actually yeah. a Kenyan I thing. I like to joke that if this, if we're depending on TV, this show would never have made it. Yeah, but of thanks course. to YouTube, we thanks don't to rely YouTube. on the usual media house. Yeah, <laughs> of course. That's a job. Okay. <laughs> so welcome to this balcony area. This is a very big, big, huge balcony. It is. I believe this is the pillar that you saw in the living space. Yeah, that went all the way to the living space. It's, isn't that beautiful? It is. And I mean, even I like how it. they cladded it. Looks very nice. Yeah. Now I'm appreciating it even more than I did when we were when up you had, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And on this side, there's a pole. We really said something earlier on about... Oh this. yes, actually for me, I won't have this railing here. Yeah. I would just let the house flow. All the way to the pool. Have you seen those Airbnbs in Bali? And, yes, uh, of course. It, it's giving those vibes, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I wish it had water so you can do like a drone shot when you're in the pool oh, and man. you know pull away from here. That would be a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> so you have your pool here. They don't have water at the moment because, uh, as you know, pools okay. are expensive. Yeah, and yeah. no one is occupying it at the and time. No one is occupying yeah. it at the moment. And then you have this pergola setting above it. So I mean, it's it's a beautiful space. It is. Yes. Yes. And uh, yeah, let's go to this other side so that we can check out these other spaces. And from the second guest bedroom, we come back to the veranda. You have this nice wallpaper and this sauna that can fit about four or six tiny people. Mm -hmm. Four people if you are, look, you, you're like Monene size. Huh? Yeah. Okay, but what, what would five people be doing in a sauna? Uh, you know, <laughs> when you own this kind of house, yeah. I believe there are things you'll do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you know someone told me that the kid watches this show. So Oh yes, of course. Uh, uh, but uh, we are let's good, keep, we are let's good keep people. it PG. We are good people, yeah? Yes. <laughs> so again, welcome to this area. 
that I would think would use like an entertainment spot for your pool. Yeah? Yes. So these definitely are like a pool cabana yeah. or something. Pool cabana. Yeah. I was looking for that name, so I was about <laughs> to say and. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you can have even barbecues. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can do you can do nice stuff here. Yeah. You can have an outdoor kitchen here. Yeah. And on this side, you have uh, the bathroom for the pool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it's a full bathroom. So you have your water closet, your vanity setup, and your shower area. Yeah, so we just we'll put on the lights. Now you can see it. That is your shower area, and your water closet, and your vanity. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just notice this vanity that they use in some apartment. Yeah, <laughs> that is what you use in this pool. Yeah, I like that they actually went for some of the best things out there. The developer yes. did their good job. Huh? Yeah, and you have this gate. To close off this space if you want to close it off yeah and because sure. yeah for sure you can access this place from, from your, outdoors yeah from the, the parking yeah. all the way to the backyard yeah yeah the idea is that if you have guests they can just come straight from the parking to the garden mm. or to the or pool. to the pool yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, your staff again can use this area this is the door that we saw when we we're in the kitchen yeah mm-hmm. so if you're coming from the parking area and you want to access the kitchen or from the pool to the kitchen you're going to use this uh, staircase, huh? yeah. spiral staircase. And welcome to your laundry space. Again, no one is using the house at the moment, mm-hmm. so it's in the state you see it. By the way, this house is also available for rent at 700,000 Kenya shilling. Yeah. And the service charge is 50,000. So I don't actually mention that maybe because I think there's someone maybe who, have, who had rented this area. Mm-hmm. So this is the washroom for this area, yeah. for your staff that is. And uh, on this side, you have staff quarter number one, which is very spacious by the way. Mm-hmm. And on this other side, staff quarter number two. So you can comfortably have two staff, as two people working for you. I really like this. Mm-hmm. I really like how they went about this retraining wall. Yeah? Mm. Because uh, as you can see, you can even put flower pots, you can grow. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can make it all green. I think this is the idea that they are going for. Yeah, with this just greenery. that it has a yeah, yet grown, matured. Yeah. 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 And you notice, I just noticed really, mm-hmm. from the kitchen, that there's like a window that connects to the parking area. Yes. There. So yeah. you can just pass your stuff there instead of coming of coming, uh, all coming, the way. coming with it here and then. So you can pass it by the window. Oh, yeah. that's nice. That was a genius idea. Yeah. Because you can't imagine going these stairs yeah. with baggage. Huh? Yeah. So let's walk all the way down to your grounds. And uh, wow, let's see what you have on this space. So this house is really, mm-hmm. <laughs> they also come up with, they come with backup generators. And in most estates, you have a common generator serving all the houses. Yeah. But in this case, every house comes with its own generator. So I think this is very important to mention because it means because it's a very big house. Yeah. So this will satisfy your house fully. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you have and a storage area go, go, here. Gone again. are the days where you're caught off guard with KPLC and I, I cannot work because I don't have... I don't have light. Yeah. So. One thing you have to appreciate with houses in Loretto, unlike houses in Lavington, mm-hmm. they get a bigger space. Yeah. Because the price range is almost the same. Yeah. This is almost the same price for the smart house that we toured a while back. Yes. And uh, if you were to compare the prices, you'll see that, I mean, look at what look what you get for this space. It's a, it's a really big space. It's a very big space. Yeah. You can definitely have a sitting space here. You yeah. can do whatever, you know. You can host a big event here, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So when, when I mentioned a book, the Grammy trophies, I was right. <laughs> if you're an artist out there, or a creative, yeah. and you're planning on winning Grammys, you know, you can have This those, is the house you need to buy. Yeah. Because when you, you have, have a Grammy party. Intimate listening session. Exactly. Yeah, with, with yes. people here. You put those warm lighting. Yeah, of course. Nice. The string yeah. lights. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. I want to buy this house so that I can do my wedding here. <laughs> 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 so let's go back so that we can check the upper level where we have the bedrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Follow me. We're back at the foyer or rather the landing and we want to take these stairs so that we can check the bedrooms. Yeah. This is the final level of this house. So follow me. I like that you get stairs in this house, but they're not very high stairs. Yeah. That is interesting to see. On this side, you have a nice window, which is actually a corner on both sides, bringing tons of natural light on this area. And here we have another screen that I believe we show in the CCTV cameras. And this is the first bedroom on this level. So this is the third bedroom overall. Yeah. yeah. And notice the ceiling. 
Actually, it's the fourth. The fourth. Yeah. If you call the other one the office, then it's the third. But she yeah. called this yeah, one. Yeah. 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 I agree with you. Yeah. I, had, I had forgotten the office. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, notice the selling ladies. Yeah. This impressed me because they didn't have to do this. Mm. You could have just used one slanting ceiling, but they had to go with that layer. The la yeah, yeah, the layer. which is a good design. Huh? Yeah. Again, you get speakers, a very nice wallpaper. I like that the wallpaper for every bedroom is almost different. Yeah. And that was a good choice. And uh, we we'll love to see these windows. Yeah, of course. You yeah. can definitely have an ottoman here yeah. and it can be a quite a nice sitting space where you can read your yeah. book, yeah. do whatever and just soak in the sun as you're there. Can you believe that this is a main road just after this one? It's hard to believe. It's very quiet in here. It's so quiet. Yeah. That's the Loresho road, yeah? Yes. But it's so quiet here. It's very quiet, you don't. And on this side, you have your wardrobes and you have a nice, maybe, what do you call this? Like a dressing, a dressing table, a small yeah. dressing table. Yeah. And on this side, you have a, maybe you can try and put on the lights. Yeah, like that. So welcome to your bathroom. This is big. Uh, on this level, all bathrooms get a bathtub. So on that side, you have a bathtub and a window. As usual, I know Willis would have wanted the window to be all the way down. <laughs> all the way down. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, well, but it's really nice, huh? Yeah. And on this side, you have your curved vanity setup, your water closet is there, and your shower area. Again, very massive. Look at the shampoo niches, you get two of that, and the tiling is textured. This is very nice. I love to see. These are some of the elements that make me fall in love with the house, yeah? Yes. And uh, again, even the doors up here, they're all mahogany and good quality. Not just those mahogany made somewhere in. Uh, <laughs> workshop that is not so serious about that thing. <laughs> so welcome to bedroom number two on this level. They are almost the same because it comes with this, uh, you know, dresser. dresser. It's actually a drawer. Yeah. So it's a dresser table and you have this very nice wardrobe with a big mirror. Again, notice wallpaper different. They all come with this space where you can put a poof, as Willis was saying, and a nice window overlooking your your parking area. I like how they have used these bamboos to create privacy. Yeah, I also it's like, I, li I like to see this, you know, live fences yeah. and just yeah. green. I know, Green yeah. stuff to yeah. separate you and your neighbor. But in Loretto, it's, it's all yes. green. It's all green. <laughs> yeah, again, this bathroom is similar to the other one. You have your vanity setup, your shower area, massive. Again, even in the bathroom, you notice that the ceilings extend upwards, yeah? Yeah. Because of the design of the house. Yeah. And you have your nice bathtub on this side, natural light. They are added a linear window up there, just because. Yeah. And a recessed in speaker that you haven't mentioned. Even in the bathroom. <laughs> yes. Very nice. You see, you know, in the bathroom, you really want to Guys, listen to those. Because I want to buy this house. You know? See, we do Amchango. And Pesa and Pesa. <laughs> and I see what, how much I can get from you guys. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite part about this house mm. because from here you can look down at your this is living like space. It's yeah? like a borrow. Oh yes, it's you, actually like a borrow. You can call this a living space. Yeah. <laughs> look at the nice chandelier and uh, now you can see why these chandeliers are not made for those small houses. Mm -hmm. No offense to anyone, but if you're going to buy such a chandelier, make sure that you have a space that, to uh, fit it. Yeah, space to fit it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let it cloud your your small space. Of course. Yeah, yeah. And it's a very nice view from here. You can see the rest of the estate. I think I can even spot a uh, Red Hill uh, Road from here. And of course, it's so pretty to see. I'm just imagining hosting functions, yeah. those events. Yeah. Man, it would be so lovely. Of course. Yeah, yeah. And plus here, if you want to call someone in, in the living room. Ah, you just come here. Yeah, you just come I here. I tell the kids, go yeah. to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> it's already late and you're watching TV. So. Yeah, it's too late. Go to yeah. sleep. Yeah, you have school tomorrow. <laughs> so I also like how this is raised. Huh? Yeah. It's actually high. Yeah. Because it's high. look at me, I have to stand like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so high, but it's good for protective. Yeah? Yeah. You don't want people falling down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Another thing I did mention, Willis, allow me to mention, I've just noticed that those windows actually open they are owning windows yeah they are owning windows yeah, yeah. yeah that is very important because in case you're wondering how you're going to have fresh air in this house mm. that is how you do it definitely yes sir and i i wanted to mention one thing that i've i, I have kept forgetting you can stand there i yes. know what you want to say <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> Actually, so, at the end of that hallway, yeah, is where I definitely have my lift because I feel that's a need when you're in this house. When you're in this house, yeah, and forgetting that the basement actually would was in, would interfere. Yes, I think it's an important thing. Yeah, and uh, wow, it would be a nice thing to have. Yeah, yeah. Please come back here. People will allow us because <laughs> I forgot to mention something very important. Uh huh. And we love to see these things. This house. At your foyer, you get a oh. massive skylight. Yes. You have That's such a big skylight. Yeah. Whether we could put off all these lights and still film this house. Definitely. With just natural light. Natural light, yeah. Yeah. I, I love how I love these spaces with natural lights. Yeah. You know, skylights are also my thing. Like when there's a skylight, you already have me. Yeah. Like you already it's have It's a selling me. point for me, by the yes. way. And uh, when you say that, when you're talking about this space, yeah. I thought you wanted to say that this is where you would portray your uh, artwork. Of course. And yeah. you know what just came to my mind? Uh -huh. The video of R Rock Boys. Oh, and the winner yes. is <laughs> my man. <laughs> Speech. <laughs> And the winner is Hove, my man. Speech. First of all, I want to thank my connect. <laughs> and you notice when, when Jay-Z is walking in the kitchen, yes. there are all those artworks, Rebron, Ooh. Joel Dan. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> those, the t-shirts, yeah? the framed yes, t-shirts. The framed t-shirts. That's the kind of stuff I would have. You'd be happy, yeah? Exactly. Oh my God. And then I, every, every time I walk here, I would be feeling like, Speech. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> First of all, the well, all our viewers. Yeah. <laughs> so you have these windows uh, again opening to the outdoors, so you also get uh, good breezes even in this space. You can mm. actually notice it's a bit hot inside the house. Yes. But with the windows open, I'm sure you get some breeze. Yeah? Oh, nice of course. Breeze. Yeah. And uh, welcome to the primary bedroom. What do you think about this primary bedroom, Willis? Um, for me, I think it's a little bit. Uh, you know, I'd expect a bigger space for yeah. primary bedroom yeah. of this house. Yeah. I think it's a quite a little bit underwhelming for me. Yeah. 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 I, I also felt the same. I, I tried to see what they did this, maybe because they wanted to balance all the bedrooms, ensure mm -hmm. that the bar bedrooms up here, they all have uh, bathtubs and so on. Yeah. But uh, as you said, I would have expected bigger because the house is big. Yeah. Probably because I'm comparing it to other units that you have seen. Yeah. Uh, someone, some people say we shouldn't compare houses, but I believe the point of doing this show beyond just selling, because I don't think that would affect anyone who wants to buy. A serious yeah. buyer. Of course, like, definitely not. Like I said, I, this is a house I want to buy, man. Yeah. Ten years down the line, mm -hmm. this is a house I would come back and buy, renovate, and have it. Yeah. So on this side, really, is where you have your TV wall and you have some windows to bring in terms of natural light. On that side, you have a balcony space that you're going to see later on. And uh, notice the ceiling. It's really mm. nice. I like the way they have broken it apart. Yeah? Yes. And coming to this side, you have your walk-in closet. I believe that is uh, his and this is hers. But as you always know, this would be hers. Yeah? <laughs> Can you imagine I buy this house and my wife tells me, you use the wardrobe in the other, the other rooms. Room. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is why for me, I felt that the bedroom, they would have, the primary bedroom, yeah. they, they could have made it yeah, bigger. It, it, they could have made it a suit. Like instead the, of the just smart a bedroom. house in yes. Lavington. Yeah? Yes. That's a good call. That's actually, I would renovate. Yeah. If I bought this house, mm -hmm. I'll renovate and make it maybe a four bedroom. Yeah. Destroy this wall, bring this wall down. Yes. Yeah. Just follow me. Bring this wall down, join it with the other one so that it can be, we can extend it. We can extend yeah. the bathroom, extend the closet, and make the bedroom bigger. But uh, at the moment, I don't have 165 million connection. <laughs> Who are you? But uh, guys, if you continue watching, there's a chance. I will have 165 <laughs> million <actually>. Yeah. <laughs> so this is your bathroom. Uh, again, you have your rain head. You have your handheld. I like the shampoo niche, the way they did a long one, and it even have all uh, this lighting. This is very nice. Yeah. Yeah, and unique to see. And uh, coming to this other side, you have your water closet, your double vanity. It looks like one a large sink, but it's actually a double vanity. Yes. Yeah, and this is good use of space. For those houses that are tiny, I think this is an idea they can borrow. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I also like that the vanity for the primary bedroom is a bit different yeah. from the others. Yeah? Not like the others. Yeah, I want to see how it opens. Uh, oh, yeah, the drawers. drawers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So it's it's a bit different. So at least you feel it's oh, it's soft cross. That's good to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can always put that on. Wheelies are trying to avoid the mirrors behind wheelies. So you have the tub and the window again, almost similar to the other bathroom. Yes. Right? So uh, with that, I think we are done with this tour of this house. Um, how many square meters? 800 and 30 something to be specific yeah 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 so close so to 9,000 square feet about now that's down 9,000 square feet yeah yeah lovely estate lovely estate it is it is yeah. quite yeah, indeed yeah. yeah yeah and the good thing about this estate is like every house is a good house to look at yes you know yes. there's no something you'll be like ah these yeah. are so i like i don't want to see that i know yeah there's no side that you can I say know. i don't have a view. i know that is a very important point you have mentioned yeah because uh at times i see people complaining about uh the prices of these houses and they are like no i'm going to build i'm going to buy land i don't know where and build my house well that is okay one thing you have to worry about is what i, I will is saying can you imagine building your 100 million worth house and then someone comes and builds a nice home as you yeah. <laughs> yeah it would be very bad for you yeah yeah even your even your guests will be asking hey, exactly yeah yeah so location yeah. is also very important this is a very prime location yeah yeah because i mentioned western is just here uh Wayaku is just here so uh, if you want to go to the airport you just connect to the expressway yeah. Uh, if you want to go to Upper Hill, Lavington, mm -hmm. Kilimani, you are at the heart of everything. And and not just a concrete. That is one thing I like. You're not in the heart of concrete, like mm. uh, in some places I won't mention. <laughs> but you're in the heart of all this greenery. You know, you know greenery. Like yeah. the greenery is. It's yeah. underrated. Yeah, man. You need to go. <laughs> and it's and it's very you know it's very sad that you see people even like. Um, in places where we don't have trees like they cut down trees and then they bought up brought up apartments yeah and now people are just trying to bring in plants inside yeah. the house yeah because like you just want to be one with the nature yeah. yeah yeah but we cut down all the trees so what happens next you know i, I it's sad when i see that happening every time i see it happening i just tell my, my, myself like yeah you mean we had no other wangari madai it's <laughs> just one in this country and yeah. that's it <laughs> so but anyway guys thank you so much for watching it's been nice to have you the first episode of 2024 i believe uh, we're going to have a lovely year if you're putting up a nice house call us even if it's not for sale we're going to come and just have a good time Maybe showcase it if you allow us. And if you're selling, we'll also sell it for you. And uh, I mean, you just, and if you're just watching, continue watching, sharing with your friends and so on. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, if you'll be interested in this house, always give Ray a call. He's going to tell you how you can come down here and see it for yourself. Bye. Bye.